All right, Hackball, so the city of Vernon is launching the e-scooter pilot program today using the company Neuron for their e-scooters. What do you see as the benefits of this and do you think it's going to be popular? Well, obviously the benefits of them are that you don't you can jump on a scooter, go to go to the mall, go to any restaurant you want, especially being in the downtown core. There's a lot, lots of ways to get around, but you're going to your car, jump on a scooter, you can get to the mall in six minutes, seven minutes. So, you know, it's a more efficient, uh, uh, great for the environment. Uh, they're safe, a uh, wider base on them. So uh, anybody can ride these scooters, unlike the ones that are, you know, really tiny. Um, so I think it's a more efficient way to get around the community for a quick, uh, you know, 20 minute uh, trip that you need to make. And Neuron was the company that you decided on. Was was there a lot of others that the city considered? Yeah, there was. I, I think there was six to seven uh, companies that uh, approached the community about uh, being the provider here in the community. And uh, Neuron was the one that we chose due to the safety uh, safety uh, aspects of their their uh, scooters. And uh, from what I've seen from the scooter, I mean, they got kill switches. They talk to you when you're not wearing your helmet. So there's a lot of great uh, built-in uh, devices in these scooters that will help uh, keep keep them safe. Uh, you know, even the people who don't want to use the scooters will probably see them and go, oh, wow, okay. Um, you know, three years ago, we uh, allowed the community to have skateboards on sidewalks. I haven't heard of any major accidents with those. And uh, we had a lot of pushback from a lot of community people in the community saying, oh no, we're allowing uh, skateboards on sidewalks. Well, you know, that was a way for the younger generation to get around the community. This is for everybody. I can see a family of four renting these scooters and, and making a, you know, couple hours uh, and having entertainment <laughs> and just going around the community on scooters. Why not? Does the city make a bit of money off this? Uh, off this no. partnership? No, there is no money coming to the city on this at all. So what about some of the potential problems with people leaving the scooters in various places. They've had problems in Kelowna with people drinking and driving them and doing stupid things. Are you concerned about that? Well, you know, Pete, as we know, 99% of people are great. You know, they follow the rules. That 1% that you're always going to have to deal with. Yeah, there'll probably be a few issues, but you know what? They have a GPS uh, coordination system in them. So you'll be able to track what's going on. And, you know, if they're parked in uh, places that uh, they don't need to be parked, uh, Neuron has staff in the community that will come out and pick them up and uh, you know, then there's like I said, there's kill switches on them so they're not readily uh, available for someone to come and steal them.